Hi, welcome to the healthiest episode of Explore UMTC Season 2. Today, we're going to show you how to prepare a hearty plate. I'm Joey Pante, and serving you on this episode is my pleasure. A hearty plate serves as a guide in creating a healthy, nutritionally balanced meal and must have the following. First is fiber, which should occupy half of the plate. Vegetables such as broccoli, carrots, sweet potatoes, radishes, okra, and spinach. Fruits like apples, pears, citrus fruits, and berries. The next one fourth of the plate should be the protein. It is recommended that people consume a minimum of 0.8 grams of protein for every kilogram of body weight daily. For example, if I weigh 86 kilograms, I must consume at least 68.8 grams of protein daily. 4 ounces of 113 grams of grilled salmon is about 30 grams of protein. 150 grams of cooked lentils would give you 18 grams of protein. Imagine how much protein a bodybuilder takes daily to grow their muscles. Then, the last one fourth part of the plate should be filled with whole grains. Whole grain foods are good choices for a nutritious diet. It provides vitamins, minerals, fiber, and other nutrients. It's also known to help lower the risk of diabetes and heart disease, and control weight and blood pressure. It is recommended that half of all the grains you eat are whole grains, rather than refined grains per day. Let us now try to make an actual hearty plate. For fiber, we are going to prepare sautéed vegetables. First, heat the olive oil in a pan. When the oil is heated, add the onions. Sweat for a few seconds before adding the rest of the vegetables. Next, add the bell peppers. And cook for 3 minutes. After 3 minutes, add carrots and broccoli. Cook and stir occasionally for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, add the Cajun seasoning, mix well, and cook for another 5 minutes until vegetables are charred. When the vegetables are soft and lightly charred, season it with salt and pepper, transfer it to a plate, and set it aside. Let's prepare the grilled herb salmon. First, combine oil in a bowl together with dill, rosemary, a bit of salt, and pepper. Mix well with wire whisk. Dredge the salmon pieces into the mixture and make sure that it's evenly coated. Do this with the remaining fillet. Place the salmon fillet in the middle of the foil. Add some capers, lemon slices, and then fold the foil in both ends. Making it sealed so that the liquid will be stuck inside the foil later on when grilling. Pour in a tablespoon of white wine. Pour in a tablespoon of lemon juice. Seal your salmon and then cook it in a preheated grill. Would take 15 minutes, but for the first 10 minutes, you open the, uh, the top of the foil for it to create a brown color on top of your salmon. Do this with the rest of the remaining ingredients. So 10 minutes have passed. We are now opening the top of the foil and then we'll cook it or grill it further for five more minutes. This can be served with the foil or can be transferred on a plate before serving. The last part will be our whole wheat pasta with spinach sauce. So before we prepare our sauce, let's boil some water. Using a food processor, add the cheese, garlic cloves, half portion of the spinach, 
and then to a smooth paste. When the mixture turns into a paste form, transfer it to a container. And now we cook the pasta. By the way, I was using goat cheese and cream cheese for this sauce. When the water starts to boil, add some salt. Then, add in your pasta. One pro tip, always follow the instructions written at the back of the packaging of the pasta. Because every pasta or every brand has different requirements with regards to cooking. When your pasta is cooked, now we assemble. Using a mixing bowl, take out your pasta and add it into the bowl. Now, add the cheese mixture and spinach. Add half of the spinach and add some salt and pepper. Now we mix. If you notice, the mixture is too thick. This is where the pasta water will go in. Pour pasta water gradually until a creamy texture is achieved. Your pasta with spinach sauce is ready to serve. Before serving your pasta, top it off with some freshly grated Parmesan cheese. A hearty plate is now ready to serve. I hope you enjoyed cooking along with me today. If you tried this recipe at home, we'd love to see how it turns out. In UMTC, we do not simply cook, but we share our passion with our trainees. We ensure that they will get the highest quality training from our experts, instructors, and programs. For more courses, visit our website at www.umtc.com.ph and remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel. See you next time on A Hearty Plate.